Spring practice report number one, Steve Baker, head coach Chuck Martin. Uh, first practice in the book, coach. And uh, opportunity to see how this team came back from the workouts since the last season. Yeah, no, it's an exciting day for us. Um, uh, we're definitely bigger, faster, stronger. Are we bigger, faster, strong enough? That still remains to be seen. But we have a lot of kids that have added really good weight. Uh, they look bigger. You just see them walk up and they look bigger. Uh, and their movement is much better. They're way more in control of their bodies than a lot of kids just can get from point A to point B a lot quicker. So that, that for sure, is, is a big improvement for us. Yeah. You have such a young team and will have such a young team, but all of these guys, or most of these guys, saw significant playing time yeah, last no. year. So you can kind of hit the ground running here yeah. in spring. No, it, it's pretty, it really is pretty awesome, the fact you only really got 15 upperclassmen and you're going to end up with like 70 underclassmen. But like you said, they're not really totally underclassmen because a lot of them played a lot of downs. Some of them started, other ones were key backups, other ones played special teams. So they're a lot of the freshmen, it's not like their first spring where they really don't know anything. They are kind of trying to pick up where we left off later in the year uh, and then add a good off season and add some confidence. So it's it's it was a very good spring one. Obviously, for us each year, it gets better and better. We got way more accomplished this spring one than we did last year and from year one spring one it's laughable but so we got a lot done today and it's it was as I told you guys it was fun fun to be around and fun to coach there was a lot of energy without us trying to get them excited to play football it's just natural energy and there was a lot of kids that take and coach and a lot of kids did a lot of things very well today from a coaching standpoint how many battles will be played out here because you have so much experience out here in the spring yeah I think I think there's still gonna be a lot I, I just as you know even though we played, a lot of these guys played, a lot of them rotated. Right. You know what I mean? We played four, t four or five tailbacks. We played two quarterbacks. You know, we played multiple tight ends. You know, we played a bunch of old linemen. You know, there's, so I think almost every position on offense, there's major battles going on. And even if it's not for playing time, like, hey, this, these two guys are probably going to play, it's who's going to get more reps, you know, and is it going to be 50 50 or somebody going to make it 80 right. 20, you know, and, and then who's going to get the ref on this specific play? So I, I think every position on offense, I think there's a few slots on defense. You know, you got JT Jones as one year end. He, he's, you know, he's going to start. Gonna like, play. you hate to say it's open <laughs> competition, but yeah. I've watched JT enough to know I can make an open competition. He's going to win it, you know, right. and, and, you, and you have Akeem Allen right inside of him who, again, there's no way Akeem should get beat out. You know, I mean, he's, I can say open competition at the three, but Akeem's going to open, open and shut that one for us, you know. So there's, there's some of those slots. Um, but other than those two guys, pretty much the other ones are, are pretty open. And guys, you know, Paul Moses and Koenig played well, you know, and right. a bunch of guys played safety. So uh, it's exciting, and I think the kids are excited about it, not so much worried about winning jobs, but worried about getting better. Well, Coach, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you.